In 1976, Terry Armstrong and Lou Hayden had spent 20 years learning the shoemaking craft. At that time, other manufacturers were making cheaper shoes in order to compete with imports. As neither man wanted to make an inferior shoe, they quit their jobs and founded SAS to make better fitting, more comfortable shoes. These shoes were to be made with the best materials and to the highest standards of quality. As they had no money to buy fancy, expensive machines, they taught their shoemakers to use their hands and their common sense to make a better product. At SAS, we go through more than 100 different shoemaking steps and so many little touches that we do by hand. In this video, we want to just give you the essence of SAS shoemaking. Comfort begins with soft, soft leather of the finest quality. The leather is bought in sides. That's one half a cow hide, tanned and dyed. We might bring in 2,000 hides per day. Highly skilled SAS leather inspectors carefully go over each hide for flaws. They are very particular and send back any hide that doesn't meet our standards. Briar marks are a natural part of leather. They're just healed scar tissue. We accept small briar marks as characteristics of fine leather. Leather with larger scars that we find are offensive are sent back to the tannery. The accepted leather is sorted by weight, color, and shade and distributed to our factories. For every style, there is a set of dies for cutting the leather. These dies are made from paper patterns, much like dressmaking patterns, and like dressmaking patterns, they must come in a wide range of sizes. At the cutting block, highly trained cutters cut out one shoe at a time from the same piece of leather. The cutter begins by giving the leather one last inspection to make sure it was properly sorted and is good enough to be cut. Then the cutter cuts one shoe at a time, making sure the shoes are cut straight and each cut is true. For the shoe linings, the cutters can cut the materials in layers because the soft brush material we use is man-made and has no grain. After cutting, we split and sky the leathers. There are a variety of reasons for splitting and skiving. Two of the most important are that because we do so many shoe making steps by hand, it's easier for the operators to form the shoes into the finished product that you see. To give you folks a better idea of how we split our leather, watch some being run through the splitting machine. We require an accurate split. Here is an example of skiving. We skive off a small portion of the leather. The reason for this is that when we hand lace our shoes together, it will give a much neater, finer appearance. Here is the pre-fit department. We add a lot of little touches here, many of them long forgotten by other shoe companies, all of them vital to fit and comfort. The top line is taped to prevent stretching. The soft lining is attached to the vamp. The lining is attached to the plug. Holes are punched for hand lacing and ventilating perforations. We call this process die out. In the stitching department, we still use the craftsman's eyes and a careful hand to adjust each stitch just so. Automated stitching is great for man-made materials, but leather requires an experienced shoemaker to adjust constantly for the leather grain in each shoe. Stitching guides are marked by hand. The backstays and uppers are stitched on plain, old-fashioned sewing machines, and an English binding is added. Before the shoes are hand-laced, some styles have to go to the back part mold operation. Here, the shoemaker guides the machine with just enough pressure to conform the leather and counter into a smooth, comfortable shape. Hand lacing is one of the most critical steps in making SAS Comfort shoes. Only a handful of people have the skills necessary to properly hand lace our shoes. The reason why this process is done by hand is to ensure an even adjustment between these two important parts. This is called a last. It's a hard piece of plastic that's made out of polypropylene. It can take a lot of pounding and a lot of heat. At SAS, we make our own lasts. We do this because we want to offer our unique, foot-shaped comfort in all the widths and sizes our customers need. This ensures quality standards are met from style to style and year to year. In the lasting department, the leather upper that was cut, skived, pre-fit, and stitched now goes to one of the most skilled shoemakers in the factory, the laster. The laster now shapes the shoe by pulling the leather to conform to the geometry of the last, then tacks the sides of the heel to prevent movement throughout the rest of the factory. After the lasting process is complete, the shoes go through a process called heel seating. This machine is guided by the operator to correctly fold the heel area and apply just the correct amount of heated cement in order to mold the heel around the last. 
The ironing operation improves the looks of the shoe by using heat and rollers to remove wrinkles in the leather and helps mold the shoe on the last. Another important step is a critical process called roughing. The standards are measured in fractions of an inch and only a few experienced operators ever maintain this consistently. Now both the leather upper and the sole are roughed up so that both surfaces will accept the cement that will bond each together. Getting a good bond between the sole and upper begins with a very careful application of cement that matches perfectly with the roughed area of the shoe. The sole laying process is one of the most demanding parts of shoemaking. Imagine putting the sole exactly on the upper in a split second after being flash heated. Time that with perfect placement on the shoe press, all within seconds. Heat and pressure finish the bonding process. Most of our soles are made of polyurethane with millions of air bubbles that transfer heat and cushion each step. Now the shoe can be removed from the last and a special comfort sock lining is inserted. When all of these shoemaking steps are complete, the shoes are inspected and approved for packing. At SAS, we also make our own boxes and we use as much recycled material as we can. It's good for us and the environment. We are committed to being a good steward of the earth. In our handbag department, almost every part of the shoemaking process goes into making a quality leather handbag. Design, cutting, pre-fit, stitching, and many more. The standards here are as rigorous and the level of experience just as necessary as in our shoemaking. Our shoemakers have a great admiration and respect for the human foot. They've studied it and found ways to enhance and support its natural workings. Now that you've seen some of our shoemaking, let's follow the shoe from ordering to shipping to your store. This is our national headquarters in San Antonio, Texas. Here you can see the huge warehouse we built more than 20 years ago. When the order is given to our account room, it is then passed on to the warehouse where we keep tens of thousands of shoes in stock. The shoes are hand-picked and once again inspected, signed out, and shipped to the stores, where you will be measured, fitted, and sent home with the most comfortable shoes. Thank you very much.